this is a brief introduction to quiz creation in Adobe Captivate 9. To create a new quiz, you'll need to start with a basic project. Once you've begun a project, click on Slides, and then click on either Question Slide or Knowledge Check Slide. Question Slides are used for summative evaluations. You'll be able to track and record exactly how many points were earned for successfully answering any question. Knowledge check slides are used for formative assessment. They're simply for evaluating whether or not a learner has grasped a concept, and you can use them to remediate the learner back to information on that concept. Click on Question Slide to begin your quiz. You'll find a panel allowing you to insert multiple question types, multiple choice, true, false, fill in the blank, and so on. There is one additional question type which is not listed in this panel. That is the drag and drop question type. For now, let's go ahead and insert a few of these. We'll make them all graded and we'll choose OK. You have the ability to choose however many of each question type you would like. You also have the ability to change the order of the questions, move them around, put them in different sequence and so on. Once you've decided on the order and the sequence of your questions, go ahead and fill out the rest. Use the buttons at the top of the interface to add additional art and other objects onto your question slides. Be sure to select the answer, the correct answer, to the question that you are concerned with having answered. It is possible to give advanced feedback for multiple choice or multiple answer questions. Notice that there is a quiz panel on the right-hand side. When you select the quiz panel, you'll get additional options that are available for given question slides. Here on the multiple choice, for example, I have two answers by default, but I can select five and automatically Captivate will generate five answers. You also have the ability to shuffle the answers and you can choose between multiple choice or multiple answers. You also have the ability to set up partial scoring if you prefer. You can determine how many points are awarded for the question. You can also assign penalties for incorrect answering of the questions. You also have the ability to adjust the numbering on the questions. By default, Captivate will now place only a submit button into your question. If you wish to have clear, back, or skip buttons inserted into your slide, you'll need to enable them specifically here in the quiz parameters. You'll notice that there are back and next buttons visible on the screen. These are the back and next buttons for the review phase in Captivate. By default, Captivate quizzes have reviewing enabled. If you go to the quiz menu and then choose quiz preferences, you'll find where that is set up. Here in the Quiz Preferences, you can look at the settings to determine whether or not Review Mode Navigation buttons are enabled. Turn them off here and they will not be available in your project, even if the learner is able to review the content. Turn them on here and the learner will be able to use backward and forward navigation during the review phase. You also have the ability to turn off or on the learner's ability to review the content. Notice that also under reporting, you have the option to enable quiz reporting for a given project. It is also in these preferences where you'll adjust the pass fail settings. Here you can determine how many percent or points are required to successfully pass your course. There you can also determine what action should be taken in the event that the course is successfully passed or in the event that this course is failed. You can also determine how many attempts will be allowed. When you're finished configuring the preferences for the quiz, click OK. Notice that Captivate will automatically generate a summary results page. If you want the results to display to the learner, then leave that page in. You can remove that page simply by deleting it or by unchecking results in the quiz preferences. You also have the option to choose what you want to report on the review page. You can choose, for example, to include accuracy in quiz attempts, or you can remove them. And that's a basic introduction to quiz creation in Adobe Captivate 9.